Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من ولاه الله سبحانه وتعالى ساز إن سورة البلد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد We have created man in a struggle uh, difficulty, hardship so which means that this is part of the nature of life and this hardship may come in different shapes for different people for some it may be a loss of some kind for some others it may be dealing with people that you can't stand for others it would take a different shape uh, but the question is if that happens to everybody can the person still be happy with all of these things I mean if everybody has that uh, and you have people that are happy it means you can still be happy despite the hardship that you have if you don't just let it get to you uh, so how do we do that you know what's the secret to that and I think there are a few things that would be helpful just sharing a few things uh, with my brothers and sisters I think uh, first is to ask the question is that is it really a hardship uh, are we not exaggerating you know sometimes if you lose something really partially you feel like you're the most miserable person in the whole world I got a D on my exam who's suffering like I am but of course if you compare with those that have less this would help you appreciate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. So I would say the first thing again is to really look at it accurately as to whether it is a hardship or not. Uh, the second thing to keep in mind is that if a person feels the pain, it doesn't mean that his faith is weak. Because sometimes that's the reaction that we get from other people. You feel the pain from a certain difficulty or hardship so what do they uh, tell you that well check your belief it has to be stronger and of course uh, then you find out that not only did i have the hardship but i also have a weaker faith so you end up actually feeling worse and of course it does not relate to it you know the prophet والسلام, despite the fact that he had the greatest faith but he did feel the pain and the hardship like when he lost his own son ibrahim he kissed him on his forehead and he said that the eye shed tears, the heart is broken and we are saddened that you're leaving us. So he was feeling this pain والسلام, and he cried but at the end and that's really where the difference is. He said but yet we only say that which pleases our Lord. So the hardship does not lead the person to lose it in other way. And, and this is really the key in that factor. The third thing is the hardship does not mean that Allah does not like you or dislikes you. Allah is punishing me. Allah is, does not like me. You know, our life in this world is not a life of reward and punishment. That would happen in the hereafter. But our life in this world is that of a testing. That's why the hadith of Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, where the Prophet ﷺ said that the people who would be tried the most were the prophets, followed by the righteous people, then the best, or the next best, then the next best. Which means that that could happen to the good people and it does not indicate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes you. There's a beautiful verse in Surah uh, Al-Fajr where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dignifies and Allah says this is what the human thinks that if Allah gives him something he will say Allah likes me and then if Allah takes something away from him he will say Allah dislikes me and the interesting thing is that that's followed by saying kalla that no, it is not the way it is. So this is the standards of the human. This is not really what Allah looks like. So how much Allah gives you or takes away from you is not a measure of how much he likes you or dislikes you. So to keep that in mind, the Prophet والسلام, had a very difficult life and he was very poor, but yet he was the happiest person that ever lived as some uh, the, the scholars of Sirah uh, say. So again, this is another thing to keep in mind. The, the next thing to keep in mind is that we should not focus on the hardship 
and then make it the center of our life or define our life with that hardship as if there's nothing going on in my life except that thing which I'm missing or that thing that I was inflicted with. This actually makes it much bigger than what it is. You know, an interesting thing in the beginning of Surah Al-Buruj, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala talking about the 20,000 people that were burnt on the spot for being believers. But Allah proceed that by saying, by the universe with the constellation, by the promised day, which is a day of judgment. And then it goes on talking about what happened actually uh, in, in Najran. Now the interesting thing, what is the connection with that? Allah talking about the universe, what is Yemen and Najran compared to the whole universe? And what is that day compared to the day of judgment? That's why Allah wants us in a way to widen our perception and not to focus on the hardship and to let it define actually our life or to be the center of our life. The next thing to keep in mind is a trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says of course in Surah Al-Sharh, with the hardship comes an ease, with the hardship comes an ease. So the hardship is defined. It is the same hardship, but the ease is not defined. It's a hardship, which means there are two hardships that come with the same ease. With the hardship comes an ease, with the hardship comes another ease. So Allah promised that with the hardship there'll be two eases. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah indeed will bring a relief after the hardship. So to trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to persevere and to be patient. And the promise or the command for per perseverance and patience is actually uh, connected with the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why he says, فَاصْبِرْ إِنَّ وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقَّ that persevere and be patient, the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed is the truth. A promise of having relief after a hardship, a promise of having a good ending, and a promise of having a good compensation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life as well as in the hereafter. My brothers and sisters, hardship comes to everybody. But I think the key here, I believe that the key here is not to let it come to you. And you can still be a happy person despite all of that. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us that which pleases Him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease our way to that which pleases Him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put our happiness in that which pleases Him. Zakumullah khair walhamdulillah rabbil alameen.